Sky because we learned so much about our health and we know you guys have questions for her as well. So today, you're getting the chance to ask them. This is What's Up, Doc? Yes! <laughs> Senior Medical Advisor, Dr. Frida Lewis Hall. Are you ready to answer some questions? Okay, our first question is sent in by Robert, who is 58 years young, and his question is regarding his joints. He writes, I have rheumatoid arthritis, and I'm wondering how bad is red meat with this disease? Okay, so let's start level setting on rheumatoid arthritis. Mm -hmm. So rheumatoid arthritis, also known as RA, mm -hmm. is an autoimmune disease mm -hmm. in which the body's own immune system mistakenly attacks our normal, healthy tissues. Uh -oh. Now, this can lead to inflammation or swelling. And in this case, in your hands, um, usually in, um, mainly in the joints. So the joints of your hand, your wrist, your knees, and your mm -hmm. ankles. Okay. Now... Although there are no specific nutrition guidelines for people with RA, some researchers have found that the so-called Mediterranean diet can provide um, anti-inflammatory nutrients. Okay. Oh. So Mediterranean diet, think, right? Fish, olive oil, um, beans, mm. uh, certain fruits and vegetables, and of okay. course, uh, don't forget whole grain um, in your diet. So those are all really important factors. Experts also recommend avoiding processed foods, as these can often contain high levels of preservatives, sugars, and fats which are believed to have an inflammatory effect. Okay. So true. Makes sense. Okay, we've actually got a video submission for our next question concerning her mother's memory. Check it out. Hi, my name is Tina, and I'm from the Los Angeles area. And my question is, my mom, who's seven years old, is starting to forget things, and not just like forget where she put her keys, but several things, and she started to repeat things. So I'm wondering, is this an early sign of dementia or Alzheimer's, and is there anything that we could do to maybe help slow the process, or should we try to get a neurological examination? Just trying to stop the process to see what's going on. Thank you. Good wow, question. such a good question. Now, I'm sure it's super hard to watch someone who taught you everything you know start to forget. What do you think, Dr. Frida, about what she just asked? So many people can be more forgetful as they age. Yeah, okay, so normal, got, and that's normal. No, and that's normal. But memory loss and repetitive questions can be an early sign of dementia or it can be a sign of many other medical conditions. Mm -hmm. So it's really important for you and for your mother to work with your healthcare team to actually look for a diagnosis. Now, working for that diagnosis may include the neurological exam yeah. that was mentioned mm -hmm. among other tests. Okay. Now, it's hard to see someone begin to forget like that and not yeah. to think about Alzheimer's. So, let's talk about Alzheimer's for yes. a minute. Okay, so Alzheimer's affects the part of the brain that controls memory. That's why we see these memory things happening. Mm -hmm. It may also um, show signs of forgetfulness, like even how to use things in everyday life, oh. like how to use the TV remote or how to work the washing machine, or that you get uh, lost in places that are familiar to you. Yeah. So that can happen. And other signs might include um, things like trouble with language or changes in mood, in personality, in behavior, and in judgment. Now, there's no cure for Alzheimer's yet, but there are ways in which you can manage the symptoms mm. and provide support. So I'm really glad that she asked this question because it's really important to get a diagnosis early so you can begin to do some of those yeah, things. So yeah, great. it's important. We've got time for one more question. Mm -hmm. This video submission is about a skin condition. Check it out. Hi, my name is Shia from Compton, California, and I've always wanted to know, is eczema due to an allergy and can you grow out of it? Mm. So... Okay, so yeah, that's an ex and it is a common Very one. Common. So now, remember, eczema is a general term for a group of skin conditions. Really? Yes, so these skin conditions, this group of skin conditions can cause redness, itchiness, mm -hmm. um, inflammation, and sometimes even blistering on the skin. And you said it was common? Yeah. Nearly 30 million people in the U.S. Wow. are affected by eczema. Now, she didn't mention what type of eczema she had. So let's talk about atopic dermatitis, which is the most common form of eczema. Mm -hmm. So experts don't know the exact cause of atopic dermatitis, but it's believed to be a combination of genetics 
and environmental factors. Okay. Now, while atopic dermatitis, this is the question on allergies. So yeah. while atopic dermatitis isn't always due to an allergic reaction, it is commonly associated with other allergic disorders. Yeah. Um, in fact, up to 60% of people with atopic dermatitis go on to develop asthma or hay fever later in their life. Mm -hmm. And up to 30% have a food allergy. Wow. wow. Now, atopic dermatitis often begins in childhood. This is the do I grow out of it mm -hmm. question. Mm -hmm. And it may seem to go away for a while, but it often comes back later in life. Mm -mm. And when it comes back later in life, it doesn't look like it did when you had it as a child. Mm -hmm. Yes. So there is no cure for atopic dermatitis, but with treatments and kind of some self-care things, mm -hmm. you can um, reduce both the itching and the flare-ups. And when I say self-care, I mean things like moisturizing, mm -hmm. learning and understanding what the irritants are and the triggers are and then avoiding them. Oh, I got it. So it's really important because remember we said it could be all these different things. Yeah. Talk to your doctor about mm -hmm. developing a treatment plan that is right for you. Mm -hmm. That's okay. so great. All right. Such great advice. Thank you. Thank you. Dr. Frieda, thank you so much for stopping by. We really appreciate it. Make sure you all visit Dr. Frieda's website, gethealthystayhealthy.com. It's a great resource. And for more information, please head on over to thereal.com. And that's What's Up, Doc. Boom. Until next time. We've got to take a quick break. We'll be right back with more of The Real.